<laughs> Hello, I'm Edgar Wright, and we're back here with TrailersFromHell.com, and today, the 1972 film Raw Meat, or as I know it in the UK, Deathline, or as the French know it, Metro de la Mort. Enjoy. Here we are with Russell Square Tube Station and Raw Meat, aka Deathline. Uh, this is the film that I saw on TV when I was a teenager, and I'd always read a lot about it, and it's one of those you know, kind of old horror films that really delivers. There's lots of um, amazing things about it. I mean, the plot in its own right, I mean, it's great to see the London Underground used as a location, and basically the plot is at the turn of the century, the London Underground tunnel diggers got trapped in a cave-in between kind of uh, uh, Russell Square and the British Museum stop, which is no longer open. And uh, now the uh, descendants of the kind of the, uh, the tunnel diggers who got trapped are now out for raw meat, hence the title. Um, what's amazing about this film is uh, Hugh Armstrong, who plays the creature, just gives an amazing uh, sort of uh, performance that has a lot of like pathos and basically does it all by saying the same line, mind the doors, which is what uh, train conductors uh, and train drivers say on the uh, underground. And uh, he has this whole scene where he's terrorizing the female lead, Sharon Gurney, and it's just amazing because he goes from being kind of like angry to trying to empathize with her to then terrorizing her, using only the phrase, my laws. Uh, the other two things that I really love about this film is um, Donald Pleasance's performance is fantastic, and it, it seems like he's completely on fire. He kind of puts the other performers to shame, apart from Hugh Armstrong. Uh, and his performance is like something out of like a, a Pinter play. He just seems like he's having a real ball with it. The other thing I love about this film is the score by Will Malone, who was in a psychedelic band called Orange Bicycle, but then later went on to do strings for Coldplay, Uncle, The Verve, and Massive Attack. He did the strings on Massive Attack's Unfinished Symphony. Um, and his opening title track is incredible. This is a great kind of trailer device here. Basically, they, uh, they, they couldn't be bothered to show any more of the images, so they just gave up. Nice. An experience in ultimate terror. So fearful that no additional scenes can be shown in this preview. 